Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, hope you are doing well. My name is CK and if you're new here, my channel is Psychology and today I am in the Bronx, the Bronx located north of Manhattan, one of the five boroughs of New York City. The Bronx is also home to the Bronx Zoo. Alongside with San Diego, London, the Tier Garden in Berlin, the Bronx Zoo is the most famous zoo in the world. Open 1899, it is going to celebrate its 123rd birthday this year. Look, here is a little bit about the Bronx Zoo. Situated in the Bronx, the Bronx Zoo is one of the most famous zoos in the world. In 1898, the city of New York allotted 250 acres of Bronx Park to the New York Zoological Society to build a park aimed at preserving native animals and promoting zoology. The Bronx Zoo houses over 4,000 animals representing more than 650 species. It opened in 1899 and is one of the largest zoo in the United States by area and is the largest metropolitan zoo in the United States by area. In 1916, the zoo built the world world's first animal hospital located at a zoo. The zoo which is presently owned by the Wildlife Conservation Society is known worldwide for its non-profit conservation efforts. Today, the Wildlife Conservation Society operates five zoos and aquariums located in New York City to promote the study of zoology and marine biology. The five are the Bronx Zoo, the Central Park Zoo, Prospect Park Zoo, Queens Zoo, and the New York Aquarium. The Wildlife Conservation Society dates back to 1895 and is chartered by the state of New York on April 26, 1895. A permanent organization was founded to conserve wildlife. Rather than having animals in cages, the zoo offered a natural habitat for animals throughout the combination of terrain of Bronze Park and the Bronze River, which flows directly through the park. Known for its diverse amount of animals, conservation efforts to preserve native species and grand size, the Bronze Zoos attract over 2 million visitors every year. Okay, I'm going in to Bronze Zoo and I've already got my ticket as usual. I bought them online. Stay tuned until the end of the video where I will be telling you the tips of getting to Bronze Zoo. Now, here we go. So, always buy your ticket online. <laughs> she, she totally agrees with me. Always buy your ticket online, right? Yeah, you got, you got it, baby. Yeah, always. I don't know why people... And let's see what we got here. This looks like... Um, the zip line. Yeah. So yeah, gonna, and then this, this one. one. This brown one, you're going to use this for all the rides. For all the rides. Okay. So hang on to it. Keep it handy. Oh, cool. So one ticket, you get to go to all the rides. And I'm also going on the zip line. So let's go and explore this famous, famous zoo. Okay, so I think the best way... Uh, to get to the zoo is through the Asia Gate and that's where we are all oh, I think this is the most popular gate there are other gates there are the farm Fort Ham Road Gate um, and there's uh, the Asian Gate which I think this is the best to go in and that's the Asia parking and the the, the subway is right here very near it's called the West Farm and this is where you'll go through. So this is the entire uh, map of the zoo, which is really comprehensive. But there you go. There's the Bronze River. And uh, there's the zip line that, that I've signed up for. So I guess we'll go uh, this way, um, through this way. And then, oh, there's another Southern Boulevard parking. There's another parking here. There's another entrance here. Um, so I'm probably will go this way, um, go up and then Mouse House, the Bug and the Bronze Store. 
and all the way to the zoo center and then Madagascar which is like the highlight and then the aquatic bird and then we'll work our way down here are those gazelle gazelle we're in Africa because you can see the gazelle now they look pretty small but they can run really really fast you know every zebra stripe is different and why they are so it is to confuse the predator when they're together the stripes blend together and that confuses the predator I love this girl God, they are not afraid of humans this is a bronze squirrel and that's my hyena so there's the hyena did you know that hyena is the female who uh, it's the female who uh, leads the pack so it's a very matriarchy um, packed unlike other animals she's looking at me hi hyena are you having a nap oh wow look at her she's coming up I really like this model it depicts the pressure of limited space so everybody is fighting for space the wild dogs the cheetahs um, the lions um, and if you build too close to the reserve it pressures them to kind of have a conflicts with one another and this this model uh, illustrates that okay we reached the Congo and this is where the gorillas and elephants are so that's the way to the Congo. So Congo, you need to sh Congo, you need to show tickets. Just show the tickets. Thank you. So there we go. This is the Congo forest, and it's not a fictional name. There is a Congo place. This is this is where the Congo plains are. It's one of the largest forests in the world and we're going through it oh, there's another one right they're there. called the colobus oh, yeah, monkey mm -hmm. and they can they can leap from trees to tree to escape predator There you go, the black and white colobus monkey of the Congo. Okay, we move on. This 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 piece is really soft. The floor. Oh, cool! You go through this tree trunk thingy. Oh gosh, this is so cool. So cool. Is this fake? It's not fake. It's a real tree. Look at how cool. <sighs> we create the sights and sounds with the cricket and the waterfall. It really like the moisture of the Congos. Uh, this is pretty cool. Okay, we're going through. What is this? Ah, there's an indoor display. I think it's the reptile. It's, it's very heavy. We're supposed to find a butterfly fish. There you go, that's the butterfly fish. And these are the dwarf claw frogs. <laughs> Look at that tiny thing. It's the claw frogs. Oh, it's moving. This is the lungfish. It's 
called a lungfish because it does have a lung and it has to come out to breathe. Look at that. Wow. And here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can spot any more monkeys. And that's a gorilla. Wow, this is so cool. You walk through with them and at either side you can see the forest. There you go. This is my favorite bird in the world. They are the Chilean flamingo. Chilean flamingos get their pink color for the red pigments of food they eat. And there's a cafe. Perfect timing, I need a coffee. It's pretty, pretty nice. Thank you. They have salad, grain bowl, pizza and deli. They have the grill stuff over there and beverages. They have pizza. It's the bar. The fried chicken and the burger and the fries. And that's coffee and hot water and decaf. Oh, they have beer. <laughs> they have beers in here too. So I'm getting chicken and coffee. This is what it looks like inside. It's beautiful. And of course, very high emphasis on recycling, which is really good. Huge. Look at those. These are the Peruvian pelicans. And they're from Peru, of course. They are larger than their American counterparts, but look how huge he is. Look at that wingspan. And you're all sitting here chilling out. Go. These are the tuft, tuft penguin. Tuft penguin. Look at them splashing, splashing, splashing. Aren't you the cutest? All and all sorts of penguins. Here we have the little penguins. The little penguins. No, which that's a snail. Hello, that's a horn deal. Yes, yes, Russell B. Atkins Seabird Colony. Let's see what we can find here. That's so cool. Wow. It's an enclosed space for birds. Look at that. There are literally no cages us and them. It's so good. They design it this way. You really are like in their habit. Look at them. <laughs> I can guess they say hello. There they are. The, there they are. The melogenic penguin. It's tough to be a penguin because da -da 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 -da. back from the sea with a full belly of fish, your mate and chicks are gone. Too bad. Flash flood destroy your nest. The birds of prey section. And there it is. That's the symbol of America, the bald eagle. It's in all the emblems of the American government, I think. And they're actually very, very rare. 
they can snatch a fish 12 inches under the water surface. They're so magnificent. There's two of them. Two of them here. And you ready to see the tortoises? They're in a very intimate moment at the moment. Look at that. Swimming. <clears throat> the line house. Look at how marvelous this is. Uh, it opened in 1903. One of the first houses to have um, energy saving concept. And it's now the building to Madagascar. Which is now Madagascar. <sighs> it's air conditioned. This snake is so well camouflaged, you can't, you don't even know that it's a snake. Thank you. These are radiated tortoises. Radiated tortoises. They're everywhere. Hunted for their horns, unfortunately. Beautiful rhinos. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <sighs> Look at that. Full view. Thank you. Wow. Look at him. And that's Pierce David Deer from China. They are from China. Pierce David. They're, they were extinct in China and now they're bringing it back to China since 1980s. And here are the bisons. Look at them, the American bisons. They used to roam the prairies of America. And the Bronze Zoo put in a lot of effort in saving the bisons from extinction. They once roamed America hundreds and thousands of them and now the numbers have dwindled but many zoos including the Bond Zoo has put in a lot of effort in saving them. Symbol of American prairie, symbol of uh, American, um, the wilderness of America. So there used to be 30 million bisons in America and of course due to hunting they're down to fewer than thousand, a hundred in the earlier 20th century, 2006, um, the numbers have since bounced back. Uh, many of them are from the Bronx Zoo, descended from the Bronx Zoo. It's an American icon and now there's 20,000, at least 20,000 bisons now in the wild. So a lot of people don't know that there are zip lines and tree climbing activities you can do here at the Bronx Zoo. So you're basically zip lining across the Bronx River, which is pretty cool. Um, you have to wear uh, proper shoe wears and stuff. Got my ticket and there you go. Those are some of the activities that you can do here at the Bronx Zoo. So here are the prices for climbing and zip line. Prices. And it's climbing. They have climb and zip. This is members. And then this is general. Here is not allowed to go into the restroom with you. Ready. Good. Ready? Yeah. So that's the Bronze River, huh? <laughs> and 
there we are, <laughs> second zip. Oh yeah, this view is much better. Okay. So there you go boys and girls, auntie and uncle, that was my day at the Bronx Zoo here at Bronx, New York City. And now I'm going to tell you the tips and tricks of coming to the Bronx Zoo. Now the best subway to reach here from Brooklyn and Manhattan is definitely uh, West Farms is the subway station. It's on line number two, the red line. Remember the red line number two and go to the platform where it says uptown and broads and you wouldn't miss it and if you come from i would say lower manhattan it's about 15 to 19 subway stops right to come here and subway station is called again west farm and when you reach west farm there's plenty of sign telling you telling you where to go for the Bronx Zoo so the signs are pretty clear where you should go so you shouldn't miss it it's about two to three city blocks away from the subway station it's actually very easy easier than I thought when I look at the map it's like, oh my god where is this because there's a lot of entrances to this zoo so your Google map or Waze might point you to the other side but always go to Asia Gate that is the southern end of the Bronx Zoo, where most visitor, I think, can conveniently reach. And again, buy tickets online. There are all sorts of tickets. There's also tickets where you can have a personal moment with giraffe and also a personal moment with penguins. All sorts of different VIP tickets you can get. And as you can see, I did the zip line, which of course costs extra. And you can have those uh, treetops climbs and so on have a look at the have a study of the tickets and what tickets you want so the zoo opening hours at 10 and it takes about an hour if you take the subway it takes about an hour to, so time yourself right correctly there are plenty I mean today is Friday so there's plenty of food to go around um, but if you come on peak hour there would be a lot of a lot of traffics but today was pretty okay I thought the souvenir store was pretty cute so if I, I would suggest um, buy some souvenirs to support them souvenir shops is really worth it uh, what else can I say so the zoo is quite sizable and you can do it like in one day I could I, I don't I think I picked the best day to visit the zoo it's really overcast and I don't have to use my umbrella at all which is really great um, and yes that is the bronze zoo for you thank you for watching this video if you want more video of New York you can uh, click right here and uh, I'll see you in my next video goodbye from the Bronx Zoo of New York City